Hello everybody and welcome to game number 7 of Dead Fantastic in the UK BBL. Currently 6-0, clear first place because Schaefer drew, so he's on 5 wins, 1 draw. The team's looking pretty good. Um, got a guard stand firm mummy there, piling on Mighty Blow White, a guard white, an agility 4 ghoul just now, a couple of block. I'm keeping this block ghoul so that um, I'll have him against, uh, against Schaefer next week because I think a, a blodge... Movement six is better than a movement seven without block, so I think I think that was worth it keeping that one. And then I'll be on thirteen players against him as well because he's got a pretty rowdy team with the werewolves and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, so I've got like twelve players on mine. Um, Gunlawag here only has ten players, so he's got a journeyman. Um, he's got a dirty player. Thankfully, his berserker. Mighty Blow is missed next game. He's got a Mighty Blow first Ulf. I guess probably because he got like a second MVP and got to quite high. Like he probably got an MVP and then got an MVP and two cars in the same game. So that's why he went for Mighty Blow to like rush to Mighty Blow block. Um, obviously the Yeti could be a factor and he's got a crazy thrower. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed the Norse are actually armor seven in this match and not indestructible Norse like they sometimes are. No, oh, two babes. So I guess I'm. I guess that's a good call, isn't it? Actually, the two babes keep the keep his men on the pitch, but hopefully I'll just cast all of his team now. Hopefully I'll just kill them now. Just cause loads of cars. Yeah, exactly. The notice. I, I, I think to be fair, I always, I always expect to beat the living shit out of Norse. So I think that does make me a little bit. Um, a little bit blase so this this time and this is the only game that I fancied myself to win even though I'm 6 and 0 this was the only game that I thought before it I've got a good chance here so I'm really going to try to focus and and you know not let it slip to quote Stevie G we do not let this slip um so I'm really going to try yeah really try hard I've got to try hard against Norse cuz the all I've I've most of my upsets have been against Norse in across all formats I think they're uh, they're really annoying, super annoying Norse. Stay fantastic, Fashbinder. All right, so there you go. We lost the most the most important role probably of the game. Already lost. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bench this agility four here and protect the mummies from the. Yeti Blitz. Good luck and all that. It does mean exposing a Blodger to be hit, doesn't it? Um, but I think that's what I have to do. I think that seems reasonable. Um, protecting my mummies from a from a Yeti Blitz. Hey. B L G F B L G F. Um Best of luck and good fun. I want um a guard on either side, don't I? Yeah. That looks good. Maximum pussiness avoiding the Yeti Blitz here. Good luck, Jim. B L G F Al Mazda. <laughs> Already lost GG, it's over. Yeah. I mean to be fair, this is this is bad for me because um because you know, he's got a chance of scoring if he's starting an offense with 11. And he's got a chance of whereas if he had started his offense with eight players, I reckon I would have crushed him. So this is actually it was a pretty huge role him winning the contest, I think. And also it means that um you know, mummies do like to GFI quite a bit because they're slow as fuck, aren't they? Nah, I think the set of I can't. I haven't got two guards, so I couldn't really set up the frenzy trap. Could I? He could. He could counter it just by putting two men. Like he could just put two guys here. And I, I can't really counter. I can't really set up the frenzy trap. But obviously, I'll I'll bear that in mind if I can in future. Best of luck and good fun. Struggling with high elves. Yeah, I don't think they're on YouTube, are they, my high elf games? I could make a high elf team. Just, um. 
just, you know, run around a bit. <laughs> Good to see Jimmy playing his favourite team. Mighty Blown enough. Um, well, I think his reasoning was he probably got the star player points in a bunch, you know, because he's on 14. So maybe he got, like... A cat. He, maybe he'd had an MVP, then he got a Kaz an MVP in the same game, so he thought it wasn't too far. And Mighty Blow is going to skill up quicker. Holy shit. Because he, and he's got three rerolls, and you don't expect to use rerolls very often as an horse, do you? But um, that was a good start, but now he'll, he's probably going to reroll into a Kaz. Phew. Get banged on. Hello, Tony plays poorly. Yeah, high elves are pretty bad. I mean, they're not, they're not terrible. But they're below average, and obviously, there you go, KO'd. See, this I just wish I'd, I just wish I had received because he'd probably be, I'd probably like you know, with eleven. Even if he's defending with eleven, I would still back myself to score a touchdown. Um, whereas if he's got eleven on offense, he's got a good chance to score, hasn't he? So I really, really wanted to win the coin toss here. Really wanted to. I mean, that's just unlucky, isn't it, Robo Cop? You can't legislate for that. I mean, like my, like my Necro in OCC. I've just got to not base. Not base willy-nilly have an that's the, that's the thing against, against Norse. But yeah, I wish I would just wish I'd won the toss. I just wish I'd won the fucking toss. That's literally this is this is pretty huge for winning the game right now. Cause if I blitz and I get the ball down here, then what do I even do? I think I'm gonna blitz with a mummy and three dice him. I'd love, I'd love to blitz his Yeti and pom him. I'd love to pom his Yeti, but I mean, I've got to, uh, I've got to stick up the front of the cage here, haven't I? Yeah, he's going to stand up. Right, who goes? Who goes where? That's the question. These can't stand up because they just get blocked out. I'm gonna blitz him. I think on three dice with him, and then keep him out here. Maybe with like a this guy out there. Maybe send the mummy could come there with a the guard behind him so that he can't um, he can't dominate him. He could come in here then. Boom. Now it's it's hard for him, isn't he? He'd have to put two guys in there. So I can dodge this, and if it fails, it's okay, because he's still stopping. He would just still be stopping um, him doing stuff, wouldn't he? So yeah, I think that's okay, and leave him down. Not worth risking two. Not worth risking two zombie dodges. Protect my mummies. Nah, I don't want to tie up the cage. Not on turn one a player down, Tony plays poorly. Because um <laughs> Um 
Yeah, I mean, the reason I made this dodge is it's a it's a zero risk dodge because well, okay, not zero risk. Obviously, I could die, but if I fall there, he's doing his job. Even if he's even if he's prone there, it makes it hard for him to come round, doesn't it? So I think it was a good dodge. Tbh. Panning on mummy would be funny, yeah. No oh, man, here he goes. Dumbass, dumbass claw blitz. Gone for the Yahtzee. Not that he was, not that he was dumb, not that the coach Gunloeg was dumb to make a blitz with a Yeti, but you know, it can lead to dumb luck, can't it? Just getting those claw hits. It's really, really annoying. I really, I really don't like that this Yeti is a, is a, um, it's the wild card, isn't it? He could just tear through my team. I mean, I guess his mighty blow could tear through my team as well, but not as, um, not as crazy. Oh wow, he's cage cornering with the, with him, GFing in the snow. Holy shit! Holy shit balls! Holy shit balls! Yeah, white supremacy is a great name. So I can I can um well obviously I could just two dice the Yeti with a mummy. But I could also put in the guard here, put an assist, put an assist in there, um, cancel this with a thing and then get in for two dice here. That could be okay, couldn't it? And then two D him down as well. One, two, three, get him in there. Yeah, so I think I mans him this turn, especially as this guy gets to come back then, doesn't he? And he has let me get into a position here. All right. Okay, so we're going to mans him this turn. We're going to mans him. We're going to try and pile on him. Um, right, let's go. So he goes in. He goes in. This is a really quite a decent spot, I think, for him. Because, you know, it is. <laughs> Um, the question is whether to pile on the mummy or not, isn't it? That is the question. Pile on it. I have to. I have to because he's he's a pain in the ass. Could I get him into a better spot though? Could I um, pile? Not pile on. No, I've got to pile on. But if I follow up, I could go four. Put him there. Can't do that. I think I want to keep the white, the mummy more central, but as central as I can, which is here, isn't it? Put him in here. Right, so I've got two more players. So I could put him there. Which would then make it hard for him to deal with the mummies more, wouldn't it? Yep. And I could put him there as well. So that there's all, more, all stuff here, isn't there? Man's up. Right, and then go for the pom hit. Got him. Got him. Get down, James Brown. Smashed him to pieces. <laughs> Hopefully he fills the apple. Oh, God. All right, good. That's that's nice, isn't it? Happy about that. 
Um, the bad thing is, of course, I might have to one dice his um, guy away from me. I was going to block him. I was going to block him, but now that I'm in contact, I'm just going to get two dice mighty blowed. Because he's got, you know, I've got a guard, he's got an assist there too. Um, I've got a reroll for this one dicer. I, I'm tempted by it. I've got two minutes to think about it as well. <sighs> yeah, heavy it, big guys. The armor was 11, but still. Um, this is pretty tempting because I, I can't. Th this is the easy way to clear the ball as well, isn't it? If I if I push him, he's got to blitz him with with his mighty blow. If I power him or both down, then he's got work. If I both down, he's got to blitz him. If I power him, then I follow. And it's not, I've, I've got to go. For, I think I've got to go for this now. Okay. And I can even follow, can't I? Because although it gives a block, it's it's still it's still um he's got men space. It, it is giving away a, a block with block, but um he's got to worry about this a player in contact with his cage. That was pretty nice, wasn't it? That was a pretty nice turn. I'd have loved to have been able to move someone in at the end and like you know get the mummy in here, but uh, obviously I wasn't going to blitz on one dice, was I? Or do anything over here, daft first. Pretty nice turn. Wow, that was pretty amazing getting the cars into Apple Fail. Unbelievable, Jeff. He's in a bit of trouble, isn't he? Yeah, I'll, I like the Roger. I like the Roger. It's not that much of a frenzy trap because he's got he, he's got assists there as well. He could put them in. But because but now it is because he could have blitzed from here, right? He could have blitzed from here and pushed me to there and got two assists on. To can and now I've got three assists. But um, you know he could have he could have one diced here or something. But now he just can't because he'd have to blitz from here and he'd have to push me there um, rather than here. So now it now it's a brutal frenzy trap. Now it actually, now it's a proper frenzy trap because he can only push to here, thanks to that bolt down. So, hello, Overlordy. Yeah, well, Rogers are like the fastest big guys as well, aren't they? So this was this was shit giving up this block. I didn't like this, but I had to to get the two D on his guy, didn't I? Yep, standard. Wow, Norse armor. Hello, Getty Spaghetti. Yeah, this is Blood Bowl. Um, so yeah, it's like a board game, a miniatures board game. That's what it. That's what. That's what Blood Bowl is. Um, and then they've like translated it to a PC game, so it's a bit like, you know, a bit like an XCOM type thing. <laughs> Not a bad start. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty amazing start. I mean, a godly start, really, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so he's getting a blitz with this guy. I think it was worth taking those risks there. Obviously, he powers my pommer. Yeah, I mean, this... Oh, uh, yeah. KO'd. Well, a fair trade really, wasn't it? That I mean, that was always the danger that I'm giving up a mighty blow, but now he's giving up a mighty blow hit as well. So... Hmm. Mighty blow, not even a factor. Um, well, Fashbinder, it's, it's behind your desk on the left. Wow, that, that's crazy, Getty Spaghetti. That is absolutely crazy. Because all of the guides say that the host takes zero, don't they? That's crazy. Have you, have, have you tried it? Have you, have you tried it and it's worked? No, 
Oh man. Get banged on. He's in a bit of trouble though, isn't he? I mean, like, how does he protect the ball from here? It's a bit bit of a struggle. I mean, I'll trade a Kaz for a KO, obviously, but it's not cool getting my guy KO'd. Especially if I stop him scoring, I've only got one chance to get him back from the second half. So I guess I'd, ideally I'd like to turn him over and score on turn seven. Got to make some blocks without block here, don't I? Guess what I'd really like is to get the guard in here, block there and blitz and get a mummy in, wouldn't I? That's what I'd like. Block him, block him. Block him. Guard. Blitz. Block, block. Blitz there, maybe. No, that lets me free up her. Zombie, maybe. Alright, so that means that gets me a zombie in. Right, so stand him up first. Because he's not blitzing. And stand him up. Right, so I really want to knock down here, don't I? Of course not. Shit. <sighs> right, I gotta go for this one. So now. He can block him on 2D. He could stand up. He somehow managed to outmaneuver me, hasn't he? He can block him. He can come around. 1, 2, 3, 4. But that doesn't do a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4. I could blitz with him and then move him in the way here. I think that might be better, mightn't it, to just use my blitz to manoeuvre. Shit. It's pretty annoying. I can't afford to block him before I move him. That really needed to be a pal. Massively. So I could have got the mummy in here. Maybe I should have um, just moved the guard there, blocked him, and then blitzed with the mummy to get them into there. Dodge him out, move him. I think that's probably best. Oh, I can chain my mummy in. Derp, I didn't even see that. But that was clearly... That was clearly a good idea anyway, wasn't it? Just to chain my mummy into the, into the action there. Um... The only thing is I don't want him to get banged on, do I? I have to move him here to make another 2D. Obviously you have to smash him to pieces. Yeah. This little fuck though, what does he do? I mean, just putting, basing a guy here doesn't really do a whole lot, does it? I want him to get him round here, but he's just, he's just so slow. Maybe on him? Maybe there. Hmm. 
now it's just up to the to the ghoul to provide some resistance Ugh. mighty blow the pommer the pommer got um because i couldn't pile on got hit back with mighty blow and got ko'd because it was just a natural it was a natural cas so it's kind of hard for him to get it's kind of hard for him i think to get it's just that he has like three three players doesn't he which is quite a lot this isn't really ideal just getting him on one I would have really liked him, and I would have really loved to have blitzed him into into all of these, and then got the uh, got everyone else in too. It would have been pretty amazing if if the guard and the ghoul were all around here with with the mummy. But Yo, Grindel. extra arms on Rattle. Okay. <laughs> oh man, Ex extra arms is a good skill. No, not really. Not if you're watching and you're a new, if you're a beginner. Extra arms is a terrible skill. If you're a veteran and you like extra arms, then then all more power to you. But um, I would not recommend extra arms for a new player. Definitely not. Yeah, this is bad. He's frenzying me with blocker here if he wants, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five. Six GFI, so maybe he's moved the carrier. So it wasn't great. Maybe I shouldn't have moved him there. Maybe I should have just moved him back here so that he would still be a threat and he couldn't get blitzed. Maybe that's what I should have done. But he's he's a threat, isn't he? Unless he one dice pals him. And then he's able to reposition. So can put a lot of pressure on next turn. Yeah, I saw you still won, Ducky, but yeah, two. And it wasn't that bad. Look, you just got two missed next games. It's not like, like you know, I mean, I'm not saying that the look in the game wasn't crazy because I didn't see it, but at least you've still got a team. You, you know, it's only two missed next games. If they'd been, like, three kills, if they'd been three deaths, it would have been, it would have been ridiculous. Um, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy ducky, but then that—that's what Schaefer did in one of his games, and he won. So there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying it wasn't insanity because obviously I didn't see it, but at least, at least your team didn't die. You only got missed next games. Oh, you had a death on the guard. All right, fair enough. Fair enough then. Sorry, on, but only one death though, right? I, I saw that both your blodgers were missed next game because I saw your TV and I was like, "What the hell? How is how has that happened?" <laughs> Thousand and one. Um, so yeah, I was just I was just disappointed it didn't happen before I played you. <laughs> I was like I was like, "Holy shit!" Hopefully, hopefully I'm playing Ducky next after he's got no team left. But um. Peasant. Peasant schmezant. Well, actually, if he doesn't power me here... Oh, no, he does power me. Yeah. Can't, can't, you can't get ghouls hit and expect them to live, can you? I actually probably should have moved him out this way, though, because then, if he wanted to blitz him, he wouldn't have been able to protect so well. But he's still got a GFI, hasn't he, to screen it properly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six... So he's got a GFI to screen properly in the snow. He might get banged on. And whatever happens, I'll be able to base the um, runner next turn. Can I chain him forward, maybe? Oh, fuck off! <sighs> wow. 
Wow, that's outrageous. That's outrageous. Don't go for a 3+, plus. go for a 6+, plus and make it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't... I can't actually believe it. I'm just going to have to one-dice him then, aren't I? With a GFI. GFI to one-dice him. Fucking hell. How has this gone so badly? It was so good, and now it's gone so bad. He can block him, get him 1, 2, 3 in there with guard. So he can 2D him. He can do stuff. He's just going to have to block him now. He could blitz, I guess, and base them too, and then he could base them. That might be safe. Might need a blitz 2, 3. And then just base him. But then he can 1 dice and score. But then I've got a GFI to hit him, which is pretty risky, isn't it? So I think base him. Blitz off Mark. Get the guard in here. I think that's it. Man. Unbelievable, Jeff. I think this is the play here. Exactly, Fashbinder, exactly. Right. I could one dice. If it's a skull, it's terrible. If it's a push, it's, um, it's not good because I want him based. If it's a pow, it's great. I could one dice him. And if it's a push, it's not so bad. But I think I just want to keep players. Keep players standing. Man, I can't believe he powered my bludger. I can't believe that. Fuck's sake. Wow. Can't believe he powered my bludger and and stunned him. I mean, fair enough if he hadn't stunned him, I wouldn't have done anything. But I still gone one, two, three, four, and you know got a bludger in. That's the thing, wasn't it? If I'd just got the push there, then he would have had to do something to be to set up this one dice block. But you know, I gave up. I gave up a hit on him, which. Okay, it wasn't really my fault because I just couldn't, didn't get the chance to pile on. That one, maybe I shouldn't have given up that hit. And this one, obviously, LOS, I couldn't help that. Of course it is Jelly Old, but, you know, if it was that or... You know, it's... He might score, mightn't he? He might score. And, it, and a one dice on a mummy isn't great, is it? Um... And when he hits him, it's so he's you know he might he might not power him. And yes, it's just a, it's just a two dice to to free him. So maybe I should have been a bit more ballsy, and maybe I should have made it like a one dice block there instead of getting injured. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, he makes a one dice block, powers a bludger. I don't make a one dice block, get killed. It's like. I think I should have probably made that one dice block. We use a reroll on it. It's only one in nine to be terrible. Then I could have blocked him, maybe powered him. And if I power him, then then his his Ulf Werner surrounded and stuff. Now it's a two dice on the mummy. Now the mummy dies. I just I don't understand how Norse just fuck me over every time. Every fucking time. I don't think I've played bad. It's just every every block he's made, he's removed somebody. Oh. No. Not so easily if I'd failed the GFI, though, would he, Jelly? That's the thing. If I'd made the GFI, if I'd blocked here, I think I had to do what I did last turn. Um, but maybe I could have made these one dice blocks. 
and got as lucky as he did. I think this is over. I think I'm drawn. I think I'm actually just going to draw. I don't see how I don't draw this game now. Well, draw or lose. You know. Alright, that's how. <laughs> Alright. Okay, got a chance then. Got a chance. He doesn't stall. Right, just need my KOs back, please. Like some of them. At least two. At least the Pommer. No, the worst one. <sighs> How bashed. <laughs> Outbashed by Norse feels bad, man. Nine versus ten, though, so it's not that bad. And I do have my three dice mighty blows. And four turns to score with three rerolls. Um, agility four to score. I'm obviously not going to take any risks. Try and level up the other one. Man, if only the if only I'd got two back, I would just, it would have been ten versus ten. Really need him back for the second half, don't I? Yeah, at least I killed the Yeti. But then that's not good, Overlordy, because I want the Yeti to randomly fucking murder Ducky's team or Hans team or Schaefer's team. So um, so <laughs> so you know, like I don't know if he's played them all already or not, but that's what I want, isn't it? I want the Yeti around to fucking murder other people's teams. Or just soften up a team that I'm playing later on, like some random orc team. I'd rather, I'd rather all his players were killed by that yeti. But yeah, for this game, obviously, it's good for this game. He is down to ten, and he's missing his his guy, who is most likely to remove players, even though he's done it with non mighty blow players, um, already a bit. Yeah, yeah, big out is is it's a really it's a really big deal. Yeah, of course it is. It's his it's his main way of dealing with my mummies and he's just a good player overall, isn't he? He just knows that I'm gonna I'm gonna not do anything. That's I think that's his key thing here. Right, so I have to assume that he gets blitz. Don't I? Which means these guys are going to come in for the three dices and not start with them. Yeah. I think that's good. So they'll come in for the three dice blocks, then these guys will run away. So they basically swap with them. He'll block. I won't make a blitz. And uh, try and play it safe. Well, maybe block if I don't... Uh, maybe blitz if I don't knock somebody down. Ah, nice weather. That's good if I have to GFI to score, isn't it? Right. So... Hmm. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to block first. Of course. Now let's put him a little bit further forward. Got him. Got him with a nipple twist. A death. And it's his, it's his loner, so everyone's happy. Oh, it's great, actually, for the second half as well, doesn't it? Gives me another player. That's pretty great. Um, 
Right, let's put him back a little bit so that it's harder for him to get a mighty blow blitz on him. So easier for him to break through, of course. That looked amazing. <laughs> Make the hit on the mummy harder. Two plus pickup. I don't need to reroll this, do I? Good. And let's just go back. Plenty of time to score, really. Three turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Alright, good. No, don't get best fuck as an RNG name. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, what's his name? I Stangai Not bad. Get banged on. So there's screens here, isn't there? Even if he hits people around it. It's kind of annoying that actually I misplayed because I I made his strong side my weak side by putting my good mummy on the other side. I didn't even think. He's actually put his better Ulf and he's put his Blitzer instead of his Lyman on the same side. So he's, he's made an imbalanced setup and I made an imbalanced setup. Um, and obviously I've, I've made it to his strength and then the ball's gone to his strength, which is a bit of a bastard, but never mind. Just gonna blitz my blodger, isn't he, with his ult? But I mean, if this doesn't, if he doesn't kill him here, then I can just run the fuck away, can't I? Which is good. <laughs> Hello, Schaefer UKBBL. I wonder who you are. Um, it's going well. It's early days, but um, he scored, and I've got. He scored in five, so I've got four turns to score with three rerolls. But he is breaking armor with every single block, which is um, which is you know not good. Um, but then I have made two cars, including an apple fail, which is good. I really do hate it when North break armor with every single block. It's pretty it's pretty hard to win those games, to be honest. Probably some cheap with a strength four wolf, yeah. Fucking hell. Strength four wolf. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good a strength four wolf. Oh, did you, did he beat you, Jellio? Holy shit. I don't know, but I mean, he's he hasn't made any blocks. He's he's basically made a removal of every single block so far. Almost every single block he's removed somebody. I have been, I have played, absolutely fantastic, <laughs> in terms of not giving up blocks, and yet he is still just basically broken armor. I'm not whining, you know, because at the end of the day, I'm still I've still got a chance to be ahead. But it's just fucking typical of whenever I play against fucking Norse, they just don't die and beat the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm completely nutly diced, but you know what I mean. He fucking he had his only way to stop me getting two dice on the ball was hope I fail a three plus or one dice power my bludger and he one dice powers my bludger. He one dice power my bludgers. But I'm not I'm not I'm not whining. You know, it's I'm doing alright. Got the ball with an agility fall. Got an agility fall ghoul anyway is amazing. Got the ball on it, got three turns, got three re rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got him to run back there. Push, got stand firm. Good. I think I'd go here and then don't make it three dice, just make it make the ball safe first. Could go here though. And then make that one three dice. Uh, 
I ain't got another zombie out there. He could go there. He can go here, he can go here. No, he can go here. And then get him out. I think I like... I like the look of that. Got a blitz, don't I? He can blitz there and then run away. Dodge him first. Of course. Standard. I guess maybe I shouldn't have blitzed, maybe I should just run him out. Run for the canoring threat. Yeah, just just yeah, just this just get this game. I didn't snake my next D six, but I did roll four twos in a row. I'd love a win to probably set us up for next week, Schaefer. <laughs> to be honest. I'd really like a win. <laughs> this is the only game where I think I've been favoured. I think all the other games were like, you know, they were all really tight. And this, I'm like, you know, he's got an 11-man Norse team. I felt like I should, you know, I've got a Pommer. I've got two ma mummies. I just feel like I should smash smash an 11-man Norse team to pieces. Yet yeah, I'm the one down players massively. Four players removed. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players standing against nine. Crazy. But there's still a chance, isn't there? There's still a chance of it, uh, of a potato player working out. Maybe I should have moved him first and just given up the blitz. Because if I'd moved in one, two, three, four, five, six, I'd have had somebody down as a receiving threat, wouldn't I? But I guess now he's a safe guard player, which is good. Oh man. Here he is again, just going ham with his mighty blow player. <laughs> Fan Fox. <laughs> No man, he's just going ham. He just doesn't care. He's just going, just going ham on the mighty blow. Nearly, nearly frenzy trapped himself there, didn't he? But like, he's got loads of players in contact with my mummy now, which is really good for me. Tbh. Like that's four, four of his players taken up by two of mine, isn't it? Oh, he's gonna foul him. Oh, great. Well, I mean, that that's good as well, in a way, doesn't it? In a way, that's good that he fouls. Unless he kills him. Then I'm not very happy. Suppose this guy will blitz now if he gets sent off. Also, down the way it plays for the second half. Of course he doesn't get sent Oh, no, he does get sent off. But gets a KO. All right, but I get, I get to make a fucking potato play now, don't I? Big style. Big style, blitz him. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Double GFI on him or something. All these guys through, run through. It's not very good. It's not a very good potato player, but it's better than nothing, isn't it? Maybe I actually GFI with a mummy. One, two, three. And then GFI into him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Gotta do lots of GFIs, unfortunately. 
Right, I think I have to. I think I have to GFI with him. Huge roll. You could just go in there, I guess. That makes it hard enough for him to get his... But, nah, not really, though. I'd like him to be here, wouldn't I? I'd like him... to be there. <laughs> and I'd like him to be here. I'd like him to be there. Infinite GFIs now. Fail the first one. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Could block him now. It's just a four plus dodge, I guess. I guess I gotta put him here. I'd love to run him around, but I guess I gotta just go there, so it's a four plus dodge if he goes for that hit. I've got to make these two GFI still. There's nothing else I can do, is there? Alright. Do I do that? I don't really want him getting hit by Mighty Blow, but... Could one dice him, then I'm basing people at least. Use my reroll though, and then if I fail it, don't really want to give up blocks on my uh, ghoul, do I? <sighs> yeah, he's got frenzy though, come up, but he doesn't have a reroll. The biggest thing he doesn't got reroll. <laughs> it's shit that I used the reroll in the first one, isn't it? Fuck's sake! I'd have loved to have just tried. You know, more more GFIs. Because if he'd got there, and he, I mean, he did get there in the end. But he could have then gone somewhere, couldn't he? This isn't too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, and then a couple of GFIs to hit him or something. Because I could d double GFI there to maybe make him roll a double down. I just don't want my don't want my ghoul to die, do I? That's the thing. I mean this guy doesn't even do anything. Or maybe if he if he double GFIs to there. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go double GFI to here, fuck it. Didn't die. Good. Gotta win though, haven't you? You gotta win combat bunny. Um You gotta win. You gotta win. So um That's the thing, isn't it? If a ghoul dies, a ghoul fucking dies. That's at the end of the day. I'll I'll happily have a ghoul die for every win that I have. Well, not, not my Agility 4 one, but um, a Rookie or a Block one. If they die, they die. That, like, so I, I, do like, um, I do like Sam Davies' view of, of Witch Elves, that if they die, they die. Um, but I just don't like an 110k player when the whole team could die. Whereas really with, with Undead and Necro... God. Undead and Necro, you're looking at the only players that tend to die are the ghouls, aren't they? Ah, not forced by games worship with Diplo Bull Two rules. We'll take our time to see which change are liked by the community. Redoed. Then, if we decide to update some rules, we announce the changes and gather community feedback. Redoed's feedback. 
then finally update the game and gather feedback from Dode once the modifications are implemented. Alright. Just going to ask Dode if he likes it or not. And then um, if he likes it, it happens. And if it doesn't like it, it doesn't happen. It is hard. I mean, he, the fact he's got no rerolls is good, isn't it? If he had a reroll, um, things would be a lot scarier. But the guard's not in a bad place. Um, obviously, I would have loved it if he could have made the uh, second GFI. But I just couldn't fucking attempt. But, you know, I didn't get to. And, and I did get lucky making the two GFIs from the zombie after after using up my reroll straight away. I'm just going to try and mark a bit, is he? Do have dodge, so hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can dodge back and make a GFI to score with, with not bad odds. <laughs> Makes all the GFIs into double power into dead ghoul, yeah. It's been surprisingly frustrating, Will King 15. Um, because. I mean, he fouled, so he killed one of his own players. I killed a guy, got a, got a zombie, thank God, so now I've got 13 players on my team. And, uh, and I got a Kaz that he failed his apple on. So that seems amazing. But he's made, he's basically removed with every block and foul that he's made. Nearly every block and foul has been removal. So, it's actually pretty fucking scary. Turnover. And only a stun. Excellent. So now, is there a way to make this better than a dodge? He can block him on two dice, then he can blitz go there, then he can block... But then it's not a do then it's not I can't blitz things I've used the blitz. Um what about this guy? No. I could block and then just dodge with a cuz I've got a team reroll for this, haven't I? I could one dice blitz because then <sighs> Like if I blitz him I've got a 1 in 36 to fail, but I've also got a 1 in 9 to then have to make a dodge as well. So it's giving me more chances to fail, isn't it? So I think... I think I want to make this block, just because he's a fucking mummy. Yeah. One day blitz is not the same. I could one dice block which would want to be 1 in 36 chance of failing. But then I'd still have to make another 1 in 36. So, um... It's not fine. It's not good. It's not good. Dodge the 1 in 36. Yeah. So if I did this 1 in 36, it'd be an extra... one. Like, if it... If I pass it, I could then still 1 in 36 the blitz. So, it do, it is more risky to make other things first, isn't it? So... If I one dice block here and get a push, then I can blitz with him and score. But if I double skull it, then I would have failed this. If I do anything but double skull, then the blitz becomes a two dice blitz. Um, but then the two dice blitz could be a one in 36. Or it could be a both down, then I've got to make the dodge anyway. So yeah, I think... I'm not, not, I'm not being a pussy, Kyle, dude. You've got to think these things through, haven't you? It's not being a pussy. But, um, yeah, I think the dodge is... I'm not going to try and get Kaz. Phew. It was a one. See, so if I'd used the reroll there on the skull and then got a pow, I might have double both downed or double skulled the blitz might now. So I think the dodge was definitely the right play. I think it was definitely the right play just to go to the dodge. Right, he's on 8. I've got 13, so if any come back, I should be alright. Brilliant. Alright, now I'm not complaining anymore. Yeah, it would have been easy for me to just make the dodge and score, wouldn't it? Um, You know, but uh, I didn't want to just make the dodge and score. I wanted to th think it through like Flashbinder. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly, Combat Bunny. Because it's, you know, 
you'd see some people that would just go and make the score and then, you know, it's better to weigh it all up, isn't it? That was great KO rolls. <coughs> Oops. Bad bad for me in a way, because um I wanted this school to get a completion and a touchdown this half. Um but I guess just get a complete a touchdown from him. Maybe a complete Oh god, oh he got a Kaz. Oh man, get banged on. So he's going to get a completion of touchdown. That's what I've got to go for. So now I'm going to get a little bit greedy, aren't I? Now that, now that I've got him by the balls, 11 versus 8. Um, I'm going to have to get a little bit greedy here. And try to um, try to get a completion and a touchdown. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed Fash would have run out of time. No, I think Fash, I think Fash is the best Blood Bowl streamer. Um, well, apart from myself, but you know, um, objectively, I think he's the best. To be honest, but you know, not that uh, you know he doesn't he doesn't stream as much as me, and uh, so but, you know, and I think he's not as good as Blood Bowl as me, but um, I think he's the best at streaming. Um, right, what I'm going to do this time, I think, is put him, put the guards next to him so that he can't blitz him as easily if he gets a blitz. Now the only thing that fucks me is a blitz, isn't it? So I have to defend against a blitz. Um, but I'm going to have to... Have to obviously play it tight and not be stupid. But hopefully... Um, hopefully he'll get banged on. Hmm. <laughs> No, I just think he's objectively the best. Okay, God, there. <laughs> Thanks, Ardishes. No, I know, yeah, I know it, obviously. Um, I, I meant impartially, not objectively. Because, yes, of course, there's no objective. There's no objectiveness. Should try the running game. <laughs> right, 3D and splat. Injury. Marvin Gay, get out of town. Piece of shit. Nice. Extra um, extra skill there. Thank you very much. Get him in there. Three dice this prick. Alright, so that's where the blitz is coming. You can block him. Got him. Injury, good. Not bad. Right. Can live can live with this match now. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Simeon six 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 seven seven. Wow, what a turn eh? And then this little shit can blitz him on two dice, but I'll go for the ball pickup first. I guess this guy could come around. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all right, isn't it? Obviously making these guys safe from surfs. Thank you, not me, but E.T. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm to see. I've got it in the end because because I don't want to get the both down, do I? And it was if you could get back to safety, that was that was it. It was if you could get back to safety. If in it, you know, he was quite a long way away, wasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> feeling better. Yeah, I'm, well, I had to play this game slight quills. To be honest, I had to play this game. Uh, I. Obviously, I've perked up in attitude after slaughtering his team in, in one turn there. Making two cars obviously makes it really, really safe now, doesn't it? Six players. Um, I've just got to not be a fucking derp now, basically. I mean, that's. I was hoping that this would have happened earlier, you know? 
just getting that getting that turn where you just get a fucking player swing. Um, and obviously, I got lucky with a. Well, not well, I'm kind of not that lucky, but at least I got the guys back that I needed back. And um, yeah, finally gave up trying Nurgle. <laughs> Thank you, a large thud. Oh, thud. Um, nearly thrud. Right, Pommer needs to tee off now, doesn't he? He needs to get his Kaz, Kaz score into the stratosphere. Need to get the mummies blocks if possible. Need to um, get this guy a completion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shit, if only, if only he hadn't... I had to follow up to no. I didn't need to follow up to get the assist on him. I shouldn't have followed up with him, and I'd left him back. Then I could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hand off to him, but I can try the hand off next turn. And there's no rushes there. And then when he does the pass, re-roll the catch, but not the pass, and then hand it back off to him, and then get another level on him. I think it's much better to get a second level on a white than a second level on a ghoul, because I don't need the sure hands because I've got the agility four. Um, so he'd just be getting sidestep. Could try to touch down on a mummy, but going to nine isn't so good. If he hadn't got that Kaz, I would, maybe he could have tried on the mummy. But it's one one, so pretty stupid. Um, maybe if he gets another four Kaz, um, could go for a touchdown on the white. Yeah, I think I think completion and touchdown for the white is the way forward. Yeah, I I crashed hard with um, with fucking necro somehow. So anyone can crash hard, can't they? In leagues, right? Okay, I I want I want to feed a zombie to him. <gasps> Misclick. That's what happens. So in 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 this, you click on this guy, and because the card gets in the way, it doesn't register as the click. Thanks, cyanide. I mean, isn't that the most stupid fucking thing in the world? Jesus Christ. Um, if I blitz him, then I can make the follow-up block with him, can't I? So that seems like a good idea. Take take a KO. Shit, I can't actually move forward. I guess I can still base everyone more. And then move forward a little bit riskily. Thank her. Alright, so I guess I'll, let's say, just make, make it safe. Don't want anyone to be able to base me. Yeah, Johnny Five, yeah, it was Headhunter, yeah. Blame Cyanide for his PM. One more removal and I start a pile on KOs. Yeah, good point, Kaker Day. I would have done if I was going to get smashed by a fucking Ulf afterwards. I would have piled on anyway. But, um, 
this is a subtle frenzy trap, isn't it? Um, I mean, not that subtle, but... Am I seven away from him? Probably still not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no. Again, one square too far ahead. Um, but next turn, turn 12, I go for the handoff. No, 13, I go... Ooh, no, I've got to go for the handoff next turn. I've got a GFI for the handoff next turn. Oh, man. <laughs> Get banged on. <laughs> got a GFI for that. I could just pass it to him. No, but then he can't do the pass. Maybe I go for the pass on turn 13 then. And then hand off back to him. Yeah, because I've got three turns. Yeah. Greed is good. Good for Schaefer if I fuck it up. I've got to be greedy though. I, I really want. I get Schaefer next, isn't it? So getting an extra skill on a white is going to be good. I obviously want that. Oh man, get banged on. Do you think you re-roll it to get the push into the pal? No, it takes the pal. Score two. I'm not going to try to score two. No way. No way. Because he he can just he can just mighty blow me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. It's not easy. Look, if I went 12, 13, 14, I'd, I'd have to score. I've only got two turns. It's not. It's not worth it. If I, if I'd um. If I could have made a fucking cage. If I could have actually made a cage last turn, then maybe yeah, score. If I'd scored on. T I got the riot. The riot fucked me a little bit. If I could have scored on turn 12, I would have done. But, um, yeah, I think, I think the right did us a little bit. Plus strength and Dark Elf lineman, yeah, just blodge. Just boring, boring, generic Dark Elf like every other one. Oh man, get banged on. Gotta get pushed, haven't I? Yeah, maybe guard. Yeah, I think I would have maybe gone guard on Mighty Blow. Um, it's still a frenzy trap for him, isn't it? Even if he gets a one dice, so it just pals. Smooth pals. Um, I won't stand firm, though. Because then he's in another tackle zone. If he gets the armor break, he's still getting blocked. Alright, so next turn I don't go for the handoff. Well, maybe I could just go for the handoff next turn. Rather than anything else. Where do I blitz? He stands up. He blocks him. He goes here. For the handoff. He goes here for the assist. He makes the blitz in here, which means he goes there. Shit, now I can't, um, now I can't pile on. <laughs> can't anyway. Garden. Oh wow, Rando zombie. All right, so got a pretty big cage now, and then get 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 the ball to the guy who I want. And now 
I won't risk anything more. Yeah, plus strength is almost always good. Um, the thing about rookie rookie dark elves is, um, well, saying that the I don't think you can say Johnny Five that big guy should always take block. I think that's a that's a bone of contention whether strength or might block is better. Usually, block is better for big guys, yeah, because it's less TV and block is really good. So, um, a sip of victory, hopefully, Jelly, or hopefully. Hopefully. It's pretty dominating, isn't it, at the moment? I do need to pass and hand off again, though, in the, in the remaining turns, which is... I mean, I guess I'm going to have... If I go for the pass, use a reroll only on the catch, and then a hand off, I don't know. No Kyle Duda, never strong arm, never strong arm. A thrower who rolls strength just becomes a plus strength man. Um, no, I don't think so, Fluffy Brew, I really don't think so. I really, really don't think so. I, I wouldn't, but obviously, you know, I'm not saying that my way is the only way to play Blood Bowl, but I really don't like strong arm. I really don't like it. Really, really. Really don't like it. I can blitz him into the mummy though here. Can run him to there for the assist and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I only push him, I get to smash him with the mummy on three dice. Um, so that seems like a good idea. Blitz him actually. Put the mummy in on him. Blitz this little bastard. Yeah, that's that's spoiled that play somewhat, hasn't it? Just blitz him. This guy can get surfed, I literally don't give a shit. Can't get the extra square to get him down there, unfortunately. But powers him. Powers is not Blodger. Injury. Thank you. Oh god. <laughs> get banged on. Brutal. Brutal stuff. <laughs> Probably extra arms, Johnny Five. Yeah, exactly. A throw is just a lineman, really, isn't he? So, um, plus our Jack, you're, oh, I don't know. I just, I just don't like it. Hello, Yuri Styles. I'm playing. I'm playing. Going for the greed. I'm gonna have one more turn of greed, then I'm just gonna try and pick up with a ghoul. Um, yeah, pretty much Overlord, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, though, it, I think I think he probably like did an MVP on somebody who already had an MVP. I think that's... I think that, you know, because I've done that. I, I always go block first on Nurgle Warriors, but I had a guy who had an MVP... 
and then I scored with him and MVP so he went to 13 so um, I went for the mighty blow thinking he'd make Kaz's you know got pretty lucky not to stake on turn 8 that's very true flash round the war I had nothing better than a, than a 2 plus did I and I'm giving up these fucking mighty blow blocks still but um, yeah he, he's got a he had a dead journeyman. I think the other three were just badly hurts. And is yet he is minus move. Yeah, he doesn't have regen. He's not he is not a proper snow troll. Well, he could have blitz come in. He could have blitz surfed the zombie, um, but one miss next game. Oh, man. I almost have to play it safe now, don't I? Because next turn I've got to re-roll this pick up. Oh man, he one dice mad pommer. Oh fuck. Oh fuck no. No, I should have put him in with him as well, shouldn't I? Or him in over there. Fucking hell. That was bad. That was bad letting my pommer get hit. Alright, first things first, pom blitz. That looked awesome. <laughs> yup. It is it is an awesome animation. And that gets him squeezed a little bit, doesn't it? So that's alright. He's squeezed by having him there, so either bl he uphill blitzes him. Or he um he dodges into with tackle zones. I think I move him first, don't I? Go for this. Alright, no no pass now, I'll just try to score with him. Oh, will I do a go for the pass or not next turn? With a re-roll. Do I go for the pass next turn? I think I'll go for the pass. Cause no, because I've got a hand off to him. I've got a hand off to him. So now I'm not gonna go for the pass. Shit. Thing is, I just three plus it, two plus it. Then I've got a reroll. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to fucking go. Fuck it. No. If I was one nil up, if I was if I was one nil up, I'd go for it. But I'm not going to go for it at one one. Nah. If I pass and I fail. Then it's a one in nine to not pick it up next turn, and then a one in six not to pick it up in the last turn. And nah, no balls, no balls. If it was just the pass to level, I would have done it. If I could have passed it and then scored on the ghoul, then I'd have had two one in thirty six. Like I'd have had a one in thirty six pickup and a one in six pickup. But um, if it was just the pass to level, I would have done it. But um, 
I, yeah, I could have done. I could have done Villainic, but it was hard. It was hard to score early because um, because the riot and the, it was a deep kick and a riot, and I couldn't safely cage, and I just wanted to fucking make it really, really safe. Yeah, no balls. Look, it's all about leagues. Are all about no balls, aren't they? That's what it's all about. You don't want to fuck like when you're in the lead. If if maybe like my uh, necro, my destroyed necro team would have gone for a dumb dumb play like that, but uh, I I got to get the win, haven't I? Got to go to seven and zero, and um, and then set up for the Titanic. Yes, Johnny Five. I was saying the other day the optimal players to score with whoever picks up the ball. How it, and, and but not uh, yeah, it is optimal. It's the safest way, isn't it? It is optimal play, but um. Yeah, I don't think it's worth. I did because I, I, the thing is though, making it one in thirty-six would have meant that I would I get the touchdown on the ghoul, and I'd rather just get three points on the white, you know. So it's it's just the fact um, I can't score early now. It's turn fifteen, man. <laughs> so <laughs> I I could have scored earlier, but it was hard because turn one I only made a couple of cars, only, and then. Um, and it was down here, then it was over here, and I just didn't want to fucking, you know, risk the ball. I just wanted to make sure I fucking won. And there you go, I have. It's semi-long term bizzle. I mean it's the next game, right? It's the next game. I want I want this white to have mighty blow against Schaefer. Or tackle against Schaefer. So it was it it would have been really nice to have leveled him. But it just ain't gonna happen. Oh yeah, white for MVP. That's normally what happens when I got a massive fucking Lengths to skill a player, they just get MVP anyway. No one gets his one dice, oh shit. Stand firm, get banged on. Both down and no balls. Oh god, both done each other. Stunning. Yeah. I mean that was it. I could have gone for the pass. But it was I have to win, don't I? I absolutely have to win, because I'm top of the league. I just have to win. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, eight, nine. I'll just make it two. Just make it two. We'll put him round to make it a bit safer. Double one. The next, the next dice that I rolled were double one. Pretty cool. Three D from the pump. No one can reach. Who do I foul? I guess this guy. I don't know his best player. My best player. Just trying to make him avoid a rock. I'm such a nice guy. Nice guy, Jimmy. Sent off. No rocks. No rocks for me on turn 16. That, that's what I hate the most. I probably game the rock more than anybody, anybody else in the world. And I still get fucking smashed by rocks all the fucking time. <laughs> Hello, VIP, son. I hate you now. <laughs> yeah, the throw failed anyway, yeah. And then maybe the pickup would have failed as well, wouldn't it? That could have been the pickup. Double wand it. Bosh.
Yeah, it's hilarious how much I foul with my best player to avoid rocks on turn 16 and still just get fucked by rocks all the time. Crazy. Gonna steal some cars. Maybe, maybe Johnny Five. It's Senai one, I don't think. I don't think she's too fussed. Too fussed for GT. Okay. Okay. Overwatching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fucking dodge with a zombie, man. Fucking hell. That was so annoying. That was so annoying. That fucking... And I still do it. I still do it all the time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Frenzy trap this, in it. Bish, bosh, bash. Doesn't matter. Go down anyway. Not really a trap. It's just... Obviously, I'm not going to... Well, I could three dice with block. Do I three dice with block? Mmm. 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 <sighs> One in two hundred and sixteen. The chance of causing a Kaz is quite high. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't. Yeah, exactly. Exa exactly as Carlo Ancelotti says, it would be. I can't risk it after after not risking the pass. Oh man! Plus, he wasn't on. He wasn't on a crucial thing. Um, if he'd been on like, if he'd been on a different, um, if he'd been on a different star player threshold, so if he was on 24, I would have gone for it, because then if I got the Kaz and the MVP, I would have leveled, but it was just, it was just pure green it for star player points, wasn't it? Which, um, which let's be honest, isn't that relevant, um, two star player points, but I think I would have definitely gone for it if he'd been on, if he'd been on more. Pretty cool I ended the match with um oh no I didn't end the match with thirteen because this guy died, didn't he? Doesn't say that he's dead, I'm pretty sure he died and didn't regen. Maybe he didn't die. Can he one turn with four players? Um I don't think so. I don't think there's a guide for that. Um <laughs> right. GG. <coughs> nope, it's okay. He got a niggle. All right, so he did die then, effectively. But then I killed one of his, so just ended it on the same. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Ducky. Yeah, I thought that's what you'd be thinking. Yeah, 29 out of 31. But I think 24 out of 31 would have been worth it too, just on the off chance of the MVP. But yeah, obviously 29 I'd be doing it 100%. I mean, I wouldn't even think about it if I was on 29. Yeah. Yeah, dodge go back just to take a rock. Oh, man. Get banged on. Yeah, it's, you still got a shot, haven't you, Ducky? It's just because you lost to him. That was the crucial thing. The fact you lost to Schaefer really makes it hard for you. If you'd just drawn against him, he'd be on, like, what, 5-2-0? And you'd be on 5-1-1? No, 5-2-0? And then it'd be fucking really close, wouldn't it? But that's that's it, basically, isn't it? The three big games in the in the division are um, Schaefer versus Ducky, Schaefer versus Jimmy, and... Um, Ducky versus Jimmy. They're the three big games now. I think I think Han's probably too far behind. Because he, he's, he's getting into contention now after you two have already got to fuck him when he had no skills. Now he's now he's, his record's coming back and he's got dodge in that. Um he's got some dodge up. So I might I might I might um I might get banged on by Han still. Mm. 
No, I'm not going to play for a draw. I'm definitely going to go for the win. Yeah, I don't think that is because a win gives better chances of making the final four. Yeah. Well, it is for me. For me, it is, Ducky. If I want to go 11 and 0, it's one. Of, it's one of my big matches for sure. All right, a five's good, isn't it? Keep that. And um, yes, I would buy him for zero. Thank you. And and so that's okay. So if he gets two more touchdowns, he'll get a level. So that's all right. 14 AV raised to 11 in the end. Um, and actually, he made 40 bucks to my 30. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at that because it felt like every single block he was making, he was he was removing a player. I guess it, later on he was making more one dices and stuff. Um, but wow, five injuries. I mean, we both made seven removals, and he actually made more blocks, but obviously I had piling on a mighty blow against armor seven. So um, it wasn't it wasn't too crazy to make a lot of removals, was it? But still, nice dice overall. Wow, fourteen fifty the same as the same as what Schaefer got to. Um, so 10, 11, 12, 13 players can sack him and a level up for the mummy. Uh, the all the hope. The hope when you fucking... Oh, yeah, frenzy blocks. Ah, yes, Fellini. Yeah. The, the hope when you level up a, a fucking zombie uh, mummy and hope for the block. But um, I'm, I'm almost certainly going to go guard, but I won't take it just yet. Um, so, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? And I'm, obviously, I'll, I'll almost certainly sack this guy. But there's no need to do it quite yet. And I think I'm going to keep this... Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this strength movement six ghoul with bludge just for the game against Schaefer at least because he's better than a rookie isn't he and then maybe when this one gets wrestle then I'll sack him and get a new a new rookie um so yeah pretty pretty good you can see the leaderboard there seven and oh um thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic